change has been happening recently, and um, I've been thrown for a loop that I have never been, never experienced in the 32 years that I've been alive. For the past six weeks, seven, I think, I've been going to therapy. And that, that alone, admitting that, has been tough, but has gone easier and easier as time has gone by because I've been understanding why I'm going through this. I've been understand, trying to understand why somebody like me would need that. And seven weeks in, I'm understanding even more why somebody like me, how somebody like me could go without it. I've built my life, my 32 years, off of the concept that I need to constantly push myself, that I need to constantly belittle, make myself feel worse than I am, to push myself, to gain a response, to push myself, my subconscious, to do things that will better myself and the people around me. That is a fallacy. And that has been the wrong way, or it's not a very healthy way to live my life. The last two weeks have been particularly hard because my entire world, the entire world as I know it, the entire Brian that I've known and I've grown with, has been deconstructed, has been doubted, has been torn apart. And it hasn't been easy especially with the things that I'd nothing, I've tried to change nothing about what I do on a daily basis. I've tried to add this to the plate of things that I've, I've now begun to deal with, to explore. Now, this doesn't mean that, you know, I'm going to be any less productive of work. This isn't going to mean I'm going to stop casting for a while. I think this is a challenge for me to find this, what my therapist calls Brian 2.0, the next version, what I want to be. If I was given a clean slate, what do I want to be? Imperfect. Not a perfectionist. Somebody who loves themselves. Somebody who's okay with their past. Somebody who's okay and can forgive themselves for what happened in their past. There's a lot of growth to be done here, and... I'm going to be using this series now as a way to talk to myself because to build a life, to build a Brian off of a positive nature is not going to be easy when I've been doing it the other way for 32 years, when I've been scaring myself, catastrophizing, covering things up, thinking the worst of things for so long. I'm going to have to actively stop myself from doing that. And I think, if I think about it, I'm in the best place to do that. Because I have friends. I have friends that not only are, that are not based on my, you know, on my being here, that are not based on me, you know, being particularly good at anything. Not career-based, but people I can truly call friends. Wonderful wife who's also going through the same thing. We're both finding ourselves, and this is the way I want to find, the way I want to make myself new, whole, better. Like I've talked about in past episodes, but now I have a way to do it. Some of the things I need to start, start doing is forgive myself for my past. I was a vic not a victim. I, I'll say it. I was a victim of a very authoritative father. You hear the whole Asian dad's mentality. You know, I, I blame myself for a lot of the things that happened. A lot of the way I am now about the way I I, pr I bring myself to people the way I want people to look at me, be proud of me for what I've done. I can't even be proud of myself. And yet, I've built my life off of making other people proud of me for what I've done. I need to forgive myself for that. I need to start taking compliments. I need to start retaining compliments. If you've ever given me a compliment in the past, I've brushed it off only because I never knew how to take it. 
humility in my fashion strengthened my sense of negativity, my negative self. Every compliment I got would be this little bit of glee that went out of sight and out of mind. I need to stop doing that. I need to accept, and this will be the last one I'll say in this video for length, for length's sake, but I need to find imperfection. I need to be at peace with it. I need to know that I need to be proud of myself and know that perfection is hell. To be perfect is not something I can do anymore. And I've been able to do that so far, but in my work and not in my life, though. I need to accept things for what they are. I need to accept the good and the bad. For that is how I can be truly vulnerable and then truly okay with moving forward. These are the words of a lot of things that I've read. My therapist, Saum, who's been completely amazing, completely supportive. Same with Jen. And I hope you guys will help me move forward with this. Because there's a lot, there's a long way to go. And I hope YouTube, at least, I hope these videos is a medium for me not to forget what I'm going through, not to forget the journey that this is going to be. And with that said, I was out with it. Thanks, guys. See you later.